Hey, uh, welcome to the channel. I'm Wooly, and this is my adventure. Last time, we began our journey as a prayer skiller, obtaining overhead protections. Then, we tried our hand at chambers, resulting in a torn prayer scroll. Shortly after, the account saw its first quiz random. And we got spooned. Now, we return to our journey. With 60 prayer out of the way, let's continue the search for vestment robes. We're a couple days into the grind so far, with some decent progress in both combat achievements and clue rewards. We will need to train our construction to store the uniques eventually. But for now, let's see if our luck is still around and open up some caskets. Mostly junk, but we'll take the collection log. And a master clue on casket number 41. But unfortunately, we won't be able to complete this. While it's really slim, we do have a chance of completing one eventually. Oh, got a dress for success. I'd say that was a success. A vestment robe top and elegant bottoms in the same casket. I think our luck is still working. We are looking more and more like a prayer skiller. Even though they don't match, I'm super excited to have both equipment slots filled. Alright, next casket. Chunk. We got a master scroll book. This is going to be huge for inventory management. We are able to store all of our clue scroll teleports in this item, saving a lot of inventory space. A really cool drop for this account. Starting off our next trio of caskets is another teleport scroll. Thankfully we can add this to our new book. And another elegant bottom. Followed by a nice stack of coins. I guess they can't all be winners but most of them seem to be. A powdered wig, an item with its own emote variant. Next casket. A wizard robe tea. And the next casket. A ham joint. Three back-to-back -back uniques. Now we have the ham joint, baguette, and the rainbow. I think we're almost too fashionable at this point. We went back to the ham hideout to finish off 50 thieving. I think that before our inventory is too full, we should take a break from clues and continue working towards the construction level to store these items. So we started training woodcutting so that we could make our own oak planks. We also snuck in some fire making levels in the process. And after buying some cloth and making some planks, we made our way back to the house to furnish some rooms. We also picked up 35 construction. Now that we have two rooms, we can hire a butler, which should make training that much easier, as the butler can make trips to the sawmill for you. So we cut an inventory of oak logs, and went to the butler for some assistance. And as it turns out, 
Ultimate Iron Man can't use butlers for that function. This was a pretty big letdown, but I was determined to clear up some inventory space. So we started training our construction the less fun way. This starts with making some planks. And riding a canoe. And making a really super close walk to your nearest house portal. As enjoyable as it was, we were thankfully making progress with 40 construction. Needing a break, we made our way to Barbarian Assault with the goal of getting our hands on some noted planks. And I know what you're thinking. Isn't getting boosted in Barbarian Assault for planks a bit desperate? And yes, yes it is. So far, over 12 hours have been devoted to construction, and at this point, I would pay anything for some noted planks. We did end up dropping the purple suites we had to enter, but I'm sure we'll find more. After the folks at the BHAD CC fought back each wave for us, we made it to the Queen. None of us were really sure how this was going to go. Not even close. All right, that one was closer. But the team did not give up, and eventually we made it through. On our first try, of course. A little while later, we had saved up enough points for a few high gambles. While we are here out of desperation for some planks, there's also the chance of getting uniques like the helmets, dragon chain body, and the pet. For the first gamble, coal. I guess we weren't very good this year. Followed by a warrior's helmet and an archer's helmet. We made a quick stop to the shop south of Brimhaven. This shop is one of the few across the map that will buy items for a higher value. In this case, an extra 6k for each helmet. Afterwards, we returned for a couple more gambles this time rewarding us with mahogany planks. I know it's odd, but this is what brought us here. And a palm seed. Definitely the worst of the five rolls. But with that out of the way, it was time to get to work. This was so much faster than making and walking oak planks. We quickly managed to gain a couple of construction levels bringing us closer to the goal of storage. Back at the old ways, we finally managed to reach level 44 construction. This will allow us to build an oak costume box. This box will hold items from random events, including our baguette. And that frees up one more inventory space. The next milestone is level 48 for the treasure chest. That will hold the reward items from beginner and easy clue scrolls. I dropped the elegant pieces I had in the grand exchange to make room for some planks, but I'm sure we'll find other items. 
Now at 45 construction, we've unlocked the chapel. It seems only fitting that a prayer skiller should have their own altar. I'm not sure why, but this felt like a really solid benchmark for the account. After hours of walking planks, we'd return to some clue hunting to mix things up. This time, it was mostly junk, except we did find some teleports that we can add to our book. Next, we found another double unique reward with a wizard hat and a black shield. The chef hat still wins, though. Later on, we managed to find an even more packed casket with three uniques. And yet another head slot item with the Highwayman mask. Another double unique with a black helmet and ancient page. We also got a sleeping cap, and a bronze tea helmet. I'd missed the recording for the previous casket, which gave us our second blessing. And we see our second vestment top at casket number 92. With all of these uniques, it's really time that we get our storage situation in order. And after too many hours of making oak planks, we finally hit 48 construction. This will give us the much needed storage for our clue rewards. Just have to put them all in here. Oh. Perfect. All sorted. This is going to make our future clues much easier on the inventory. With the storage situation handled, let's continue training our thieving. We are only a few clues away from having opened 100 easy caskets. Casket number 97 comes with a magic amulet T. And yet another hat with the beanie. And that brings the total to 100 easy caskets. I think it's safe to say that our luck did continue. Hopefully that's still the case as we continue our journey as an ultimate Iron Man prayer skiller. Thanks for watching. Till next time, stay safe out there. Stay you.